फ्रेंड्स 390 डेज ऑफ वॉर इन लास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स नो मेजर चेंजेस दो बैटल इज प्रोग्रेसिंग इन सदर्न यूक्रेन द पुरिजिया डायरेक्शन यूक्रेनियन फोर्सेस कैरिड आउट अ प्रोविंग अटैक बाय कंडक्टिंग अ रेकोनाइसेंस इन पोहोवस्की डायरेक्शन हाउ एवर इट वॉज नॉट अ सक्सेसफुल असॉल्ट but wonder if this is the indication of a futuristic offensive build up in kharson the russian controlled zone a terrorist attack occurred and a platoon commander died while his wife and daughter are hospitalized in north kursk regions were under heavy shelling by the ukrainian forces in tuli 170 km from moscow A fallen UAV was found. No damage reported. In Kupian's direction, Swatovo Kremina line, the Russian forces continue their counter attacks, and as per ISW, they manage some incremental gains. Of course, they do not talk about war of attrition. In east, on Avdivka direction, the Russian forces are continuing their offensive. and advanced towards stepoe which is west of krasnohorivka and marinka the battle is on bakhmut from orekho south of it the ukrainian forces carried out counter attack with two battalions but with not much of success while they carried out the same thing in down south and seems to have managed some lost ground This gain was south of T zero five zero four highway. In the meantime, Russian troops, along with PMC, reached closer to central Bakhmut from eastern side. They further gained towards northwest near Azom plant. Severe battle is on for Krasnoye, Chasso Yar, Bohad Nivka, and Kromov. in short bakhmut holds despite more difficult situation for the ukrainian forces and it is likely that the ukrainian forces will do a last ditch action by full out counter offensive and i'm sure russians know about it the offensive by ukrainians in zaporizhia direction may not seem to be linked with bakhmut but could be a diversionary act In the meantime German minister of justice says his troops if they enter Russia will have to arrest Putin to complete the task of ICC war mongering isn't it and Polish ambassador to France says that in case Ukraine is unable to manage its defense and loses to Russia it will take up the tasks and is ready to fight with Russia with more than 300,000 troops that they are building up of course later on Poland denied this report and white house has issued a statement ukraine's cease fire is unacceptable and this seems to be effect or panic due xi jinping's visit to moscow usa itself is heading towards a turmoil there is a rally in support of trump which may increase massively this rally of course is not for democracy by any chance yes the rally in israel may lead to a massive disruption in israeli setup more rallies now and in coming days in india and of course france is continuing the french working people have forgotten their heritage that is french revolution wherein the workers held the state par the regime for almost 3 months i am thankful to my friends for their comments and critique on my video and that brings an end to my today's talk see you tomorrow maybe little late thank you